Let's select everything, press X and delete. Go to the front view by pressing 1. Shift A, Mesh, Circle. Click here and change vertices to 12. Enter. Let's do E to extrude. You can see it's moving, so press Z to snap to constrain Z axis and move up. This is fine. And now you want to go under your materials, add new one. Let's leave it. Well, we're going to leave this white and lower the roughness. 0, 0.15 will be fine. Uh, go into t uh, edit mode by pressing tab. Press 3 or here to select faces. Now we're going to select three, fa three faces. And we're going to add a new material, new, and switch color, something red. Let's do something darker press assign and let's lower the roughness so let's do the same thing 0, 015 okay uh, now leave these three faces white and let's do three more you can see like this three more press red and assign go back and this something like this. You can go and add modifier, subdivision surface, let's do two, right click and shade smooth. Now go into the edit mode by pressing tab. We are going to do control R and scroll your mouse wheel to get more loop cuts. Something like this would be fine. Uh, and now you want to add modifier, simple deform. Uh, when you select that, you want twist and you want uh, z-axis. You can see if you change the angle, something like this. If we do 360, it's going to look like this, but let's do more, like 720. This is fine. Okay, we can move this to first and you can actually apply this. Now you want to add your curve. Let's do Bezier curve scale it, rotate 90. Let's go to the side view so, it's, so we check if it's straight. Go into the edit mode, select this top part, rotate 45, it's straight now. Go into 1, so front view, G to grab, move up. And make something, let's do scale, create something that look like, looks like a candy cane. So let's do extrude, and let's rotate this 180. So it's something like a candy cane. Let's move this bottom part a little bit up. So G and move up. Okay, we have something like this. And now select this circle part. So your mesh, we're going to add modifier and add curve modifier. You want to select this curve object it looks something like this. So you have to change axis or move your object depending of your origin point. So let's do minus X and it looks fine. Also, if you select like your curve or your object, press G to grab and move. It's going to deform something like this. So when you're satisfied with this, you can Let's move it first. Okay, you can apply this and you can delete your curve because you don't need this anymore. So delete. Uh, now we have these faces that we haven't filled. So let's do shade smooth. Uh, go into the edit mode, select this bottom edge, press E to extrude and S to scale. Now press M, M and merge it center. Let's do the same thing for the other part. So select the edge, so Alt and this edge, E to extrude, as to scale, M, M to center. And you're done.